Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. A little uh, video just to show you some of my finished projects and because I just filmed a November unboxing I just decided to use the same setup to quickly show you a little bit of these uh, knits. None of them follow a pattern. Um, I am thinking about writing patterns for some of them so let me know if you're interested but uh, a couple of months ago, I placed an order with um, Maria from Doxton Wood and I purchased some Sheer Delight uh, yarn and I just uh, immediately cast on with it. I still have one skein that I haven't used yet, but I've also got some coming. Um, that's another story. So the first thing that I used the yarn for, the Athena yarn, I used two skeins and it's a fingering weight. It was for this shawl or scarf and it's kind of with the same concept of one row scarf but a, a little bit adapted to what I wanted it has a frills at the at both sides so it's just like a plain rectangular scarf that you could use as a shawl because it's quite wide so I started with frills and I think they just make it look so beautiful and kind of like um Victorian style I guess <laughs> and then um, I've I've knitted it uh, with garter stitching between the the knit one and knit, knit through the back loop and purl one to create this this column of knit stitches going up and I also incorporated braids on the sides and also in the body of the shawl as you can see, it starts with a small braid and a bit bigger braid and a bit bigger braid. And then in the middle, you have a bit of a longer braid and then it continues. Obviously, the side braids, they go all through and then it continues with another longer braid and it finishes um, with the same kind of um, the braids get smaller and smaller and the frills at the bottom. So uh, I haven't, I have kind of scribbled a little bit of a pattern for this. It's very, very warm and lofty. Um, it's not scratchy at all. It's non superwash, non dyed. It's just the perfect, the perfect yarn. I fell in love with all Sheer Delight yarns. <laughs> and uh, to be honest, I think the, the last order that I placed was for this, um, this color because all the others were were sold out i also have a dk weight skein of the athena that i want to make some mittens from but um, i haven't started that yet i just got i just got some other projects on the go that i'm working on so yeah that's a scarf um, so i am thinking about writing a pattern for that and then i had left of no then i started to knit some socks so I knit this pair and they are the warmest, warmest socks. And um, I will let you know what yarn I use for each one. Um, so these are just uh, like a slip stitch um, cuff that kind of make it more sturdy and also slip stitch heel. Um, just simple socks, but they're the warmest socks. And then I had a little bit of yarn left from this and I started a second pair and I had enough yarn to do cuff with that yarn. And then I continued with the softer version of the yarn, which is um, brownish. But for this pair, I did slip stitch on the heel, which um, I find that it makes the, the sock fit better. I didn't do it for this because honestly, I forgot. But then I remembered just in time to include it in these. So two pairs of socks. From two skeins, I got this pair plus um, this, this cuff. And then I had four skeins of this plus a brownie, um, no? Yeah, this brown um, that I made a hairband it's so soft and so warm and I just knitted it in the round 
and then when I got here I scrunched it up and I did another knit in the round um, band that I put it there to um, secure it and I stitched it together here and then I also had loads of yarn left but I didn't want to knit another pair of socks or two other pairs of socks and I knitted a, a cowl because I find all cowls that um, I've knitted in the past um, they are a bit too wide and I find that the the wind still goes under so I wanted a double one that was narrower I kind of use my buff uh, cowl to to measure and knit it from it so I started down here with a knit one per one which I didn't make it long enough because as you can see it kind of uh, curls up it doesn't matter I'm still very warm and then because it was around Christmas time I decided to make Christmas tree on it and then I was bored of Christmas trees and I <laughs> put this band of uh, knit one per one knit one in brown knit one in um, light beige and kind of gave it this effect and then I said well I want more trees so I did another <laughs> set of trees and then I did um, again knit one per one here a pearl row to make this um, this uh, what do I call it <laughs> fold because I knew I wanted to flip it inside so I'm not I don't use it like this I don't wear it like this because you can't see the the ferro motif so I just knitted with all the yarn that I had left over so I fold it and I guess I could stitch it together here so it doesn't curl up anymore but as you can see on the inside I just have all the yarn that I had left I knitted with it halfway and then the rest with the brown and on this side I have the fair isle that it's on show when I wear it and since I finished this this is all I'm wearing when I'm outside it's so warm and so soft and I put my hat on and then I tuck my hat behind here and I also this also covers half of my mask when I wear it so I put my mask on and then this comes up pretty much like this so it doubles triples or whatever protection uh, so yeah this is what I've been working on for the last I don't know two well not two months since I filmed my last video but it's been a while since I filmed but this is what I've been working on I also have another project on the go which is the uh, what is it called honeycomb scarf or something like that I have posted about it on my Instagram so if you're interested just have a look there and I also have another cowl that I'm working on which is a bit thinner and it has a ferrule motif as well so I'm halfway through that and I want to finish that as well because it's a little bit lighter so after it warms up a little bit I won't need this cowl anymore so I'll switch to the warmer cowl until hot weather finally comes to UK which never really does until July or August and then we're October will back to you <laughs> wearing knits again um, so yeah that's what I've been working on in case you were wondering I have lots of socks and I need them because I wear them every day it's so cold these days so I always need socks and I find that non superwash wool is a lot warmer than superwash wool so yeah this is what I've been wearing so yeah thanks for watching uh, I hope that you enjoyed having a sneak peek of what I've been working on and let me know if you're interesting, interested in any of these uh, these projects and I will try to scribble, scribble some, time, some kind of patterns and um, have any of you test them and then um, yeah release the patterns thanks for watching I will see you in my next one bye